Alexis Carrillo Ramirez says that her three year old Doberman Amber is a sweetheart trained to help her with severe anxiety and depression. She says one day she found a letter on her home giving her 45 days to give Amber away, and that's when she reached out to us for help. <laughs> This is Alexis Correa Ramirez and three-year-old Amber, her emotional support dog. She is trained to calm me down. If I feel anxiety, she won't leave my side. If she feels like I'm having a panic attack, she will jump on my shoulders and she would kiss my nose. Breathe, I'm okay. Correa Ramirez says that the dog helps her cope with multiple mental health issues brought about by her rough past. As a kid, I did suffer a lot of trauma. You know, I was raped. I was, uh, I was, um, I've had to do domestic violence relationships. So she was shocked when she recently found a note on her home from New Park Management, giving her 45 days to get rid of Amber after three years of living here, even though ESAs are federally protected. Amber believes that the new manager is targeting her after she complained to Walnut Estates Management for his comments about the dog. Of course she feels like she's being targeted. Um, she doesn't want to abide by the rules and regulations. She feels as though she is an exception because if she didn't, then you wouldn't be here talking to me right now. Manager Ivan Leon says he's just doing his job and went right to the rule book. Page four, part, um, paragraph six, pets and restrictions. And word for word, 33 aces, listed the rules allowing him to rehome the dog. No Dobermans allowed, walking the dog without a leash, the dog barking. <laughs> And despite Correa Ramirez claiming she registered the dog with old management, Leon says he doesn't have that paperwork in his records and she didn't produce the new documents in the month he gave her. I have to enforce the rules and I've been doing so. Some people like me because of it, some people don't. Now, Correa Ramirez says that she reached out to us to get help with her own situation, but also to let other people know that federal regulators with HUD will help you if you feel that you're being discriminated against. The legal team at Walnut Estates says that if she provides proof that the dog is properly insured in the 45-day window, the case against her will be dropped. In the studio, I'm Sean Delancey.